<laughs> well, we always had ancient quarterbacks, and uh, uh, I'm getting up there in that ancient category myself. So if, uh, if both of those guys get hurt, they may have to throw me back in there, which I don't really want to happen. But we have a young quarterback by the name of Sam Haverlack who played offensive halfback for us, and uh, uh, we're going to try to groom him for uh, the quarterback position. But uh, it's, it's a toss-up right now, and especially with the, um, the seriousness of John Unitas' injury, we'll probably be looking for another quarterback someplace. The Baltimore Colts received a lot of criticism last year from hometown fans throughout the season and after winning the Super Bowl as well. Well, you know, this is, uh, we have some, uh, we have a, a, a great, great fan relationship up there. And the, the problem with our fans is that they expect us to blow everybody out. And, uh, and I mean by that, they expect us to win by a big score. Uh, sometimes we just don't do it. We, th we pulled a lot of squeakers out last year, and we were very fortunate uh, uh, to win some of the games that we did win. But uh, we hung in there as a team, and this is the one thing that uh, our team has always been noted for, is the fact that we've got a lot of pride. And uh, they hung in there, and they stuck together, and they came up with a Super Bowl championship. But uh, the fans have got to remember, and I think the fans across the country have to remember, that this is a two two-way street. There's an offensive team and a defensive team, and our defensive team was the key to our success this past year, and uh, the Dallas Cowboys defensive team was their key to their success. And the thing that made it uh, such a great battle was it was, uh, it was really a tough defensive ball game because the offensive players were really hurt. And when you have as many turnovers as there were in that game, you know that it's a tough defensive ball game. But I